Hello, this is Mark from Mark's Ukulele Tips. I've got a quick beginner tip here today, and I'm going to be covering stickers. So, the thing is, you can buy packs of stickers that are designed to go on your ukulele on each fret that will tell you what that note is, if it's in standard tuning. So, most of the ones that I've found that are for ukulele are black and white or transparent and they look like they would be kind of difficult to see when they're actually on a ukulele. So I wasn't a big fan of them. Now the upside would be that they're going to be the right notes and they're going to be the right layout and everything and that, that's, a, that's a definite upside. But I th personally think it's worth getting a set of these. Now these are ones for guitar. But these ones are color coded and the big upside to that is that it's very visually striking each note can be identified like at a distance at a glance so if you were playing say something along for example a C major scale you would know starting zero on the third fret on the third string would be C and it'd be C the next one is D which is purple next one is E yellow in there and then F and G and A and B and C so no sharps and flats in a C major scale so just and that is just so easy to see on a fretboard that has the notes written on it and color coded now if you are going to use one of these colorful sticker packets from a guitar or designed for guitar you're gonna to have to make a few modifications because obviously it's not the right, it's not gonna be exactly the same notes. The thing, this is where the similarity to ukulele and guitar comes in. So this is a pretty good way of explaining it actually. The relationship uh, of like the tuning of a ukulele to a guitar would be the same, I'm sure I keep up, would be the same if <laughs> You were to put a capo on the fifth of a guitar and play the bottom four strings. So these would be the bottom four strings. And you can see those notes are G, C, E, and A. So it would be fifth fret on a guitar, bottom four strings, G, C, E, A. And as you know, those are the notes for a ukulele open. So G, C, E, A. So what you'd be looking to do with this particular pack of stickers would be you would cut down here and along there and they would become your 0 fret, 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret and then you can go back here if you want to continue and chop them up, spread them out and put them in the appropriate place. Now if you're going to do this, I know it's a little bit of a head wreck, it's a little bit time consuming but it is worth it. As somebody who has put it on just one of the beginner ukes that I had lying around, and when I'm practicing scales and everything and I play it on this, it's just so much more intuitive, and I feel like I'm learning them quicker. Um, now, if you don't particularly want to get into chopping one up and risking doing it wrong, that's fine. Get one of the black and white sets, or if you can find a color set for ukulele, let me know in the comments. Um, but so far the only ones I've found have been black and white for ukulele and colourful ones for guitar and I prefer the colourful ones even though they're not ideal because you obviously have to chop them up and if you are going to do the chopping them up make sure you reference it so look up on the internet the frets or the fret notes of a ukulele and make sure you're putting the right sticker in the right place because if you get this wrong uh, <laughs> you'll probably have to I guess you'll just have to buy another packet of stickers but um, yeah, it's 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 definitely a good idea to avoid getting it wrong and just get it right the first time. Okay, so this would be a great thing to do if you're kind of beginner intermediate and you're looking to get into scales. So I've been Mark from Mark Ukulele Tips, and uh, this is a nice little beginner one, one that hasn't really been requested, but I think it's well worth explaining to people. Okay, so 